We are going to die. I hope you're doing fine from, from whenever corner of the world that you're watching our videos from. Now, there is a certain uh, mindset that we have as Kenyans that once a woman is successful or mostly in a position of power, then they have a lot of men at their disposal and so that woman cannot be married as a second wife. Now, you will be shocked by the number of women that hold high offices in our country, Kenya, that have been married as second wives. Now, this is the list of the top five women that have been, been married as second wives, yet they own high offices in our country. Getting down to the numbers, the, on number five is honorable. Esther Pasaris, the current women representative of Nairobi County. Women, uh, uh, Esther Pasaris confessed in 2016 that she, uh, she is in a polygamous marriage. Now the Nairobi County women representative Esther Pasaris said that she was not ashamed of a polygamous marriage to billionaire Pius Ngugi. By the way, hata wewe, could you be ashamed kuoleka kwa billionaire hata ukua ni, ni third wife, live about being a second wife? Eh? Eh, eh. Continuing, she, she spoke on the media and pointed out that she initially had no plans to being married, to being married in such a, a marriage setup. But circumstances forced her uh, forced her to get married as a second wife. Now, according to Pasaris, she initially had a time coming into terms with the polygamous setup. And I quote her, I can't be embarrass embarrassed or, sh or ashamed of who I am and what I have experienced. Uh, what I have experienced. So, if I am ashamed of who I am, I mean, there was a time that I battled about being in a polygamous marriage. I didn't plan for it. I ended up in it, she said. Now, according to Pasaris, despite having differences with her husband, they are good friends. I have two beautiful children. Those are a blessing to me. My husband and I have had our troubles, but we are good friends. We love each other, and that's what is important. And she once claimed that given the polygamous setup, Pasaris said that her husband does not spend quality or enough time with their children. However, she praised him for trying his best to create time for their kids. She said, she said, we have raised two beautiful children, even though, you know, when you are in a polygamous marriage, the father doesn't have enough time for the kids. Yes, that is on number five. And on number four, as we continue, on number four on the list of women that have been married in polygamous relationships, I bring to you Mangret Kamar. The Wasinigishu politician Mangret Kamar came out and declared that she was the late Nicholas B. Watt's wife. Remember, the billionaire himself, he was known as the total man. During the requirements in Tot Village in 2017, the academician turned politician laid bare her relationship with the former cabinet minister. Kamar was seen holding hands with her co-wives Hani and Kavista after they had introduced their children. That was the first time that this lady, who was a politician, went ahead to confess that she was a second, uh, she was a second wife to Mr. Nicholas B. Watt. Getting back to the list, on number three, I bring to you none other than Madam Kate Warogoro. The former Laikipia women representative Kate Warogoro affirmed her status as a second wife during a past interview with the, the standard hold media station that was KTN. Now, once upon a time, uh, Kate Warugoro said that she had no apologies of being a second wife. And she said that she did not regret uh, her being married as a second wife. But look at it. 
Ketu Warogoro, do you know, now looking at that lady, mm, the BOT, you know, the success in her, did you really think that Ketu Warogoro would get married as a second wife? Now the Laikipia women, the former Laikipia women representative, Catherine Warogoro, came out to categorically set the record straight on a marriage to lawyer William Kingen. Speaking with uh, KTN's Michael Getonga Warogoro insisted that she is legally married and that the constitution recognizes their union. Warogoro retreated that she has no apologies for being a second wife and was proud and better of that her husband was the man she wants to be with. Now, she said nobody should take the role of God. I will change my good friends. Most of them I know they are married and they have their marital wife or husband but wakona mpango zao. You will realize that I am better off if I know this is the man that I want to be with. I would like not to change me. Not to cha I, 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 would, I would like anybody to challenge me and tell me whether I am casted to go to hell because I am married. As a second wife, allow me to be grilled and ask questions by God. Let no one play the moral police. That's what Kate said. Nakasema, she does not regret being married as a second wife. And there was a rumor that Kate Warogoro stole somebody's husband and used the power that she had. Mm, kufunga uyo bibi wakwanza. But that was a rumor. Uh, now continuing and going forward, we are on number four in the list. Who is number four on our list? I bring to you none other than Madam Yvonne Okwara. You all know her. She is one of the best, and I say the best in terms of police, in, in, uh, TV journalists and presenters in our country. Yvonne Okwara, the Citizen TV presenter, got married to Andrew Matole, a veterinary surgeon in December 2014, after he separated from his first wife, Alice. But he later got a, went ahead to, to again go back to his wife. Mm -hmm. Yvonne Okwara has since then kept a relationship away from the limelight. But rumor had it that there were issues between Yvonne Okwara and her husband. Uh, a few months ago. Yeah, you know, somebody did not expect a lady of the status of Yvonne Okwara being one of the greatest media personalities in our country to be married as a second wife. And on number one on the list, I bring to you none other than Maito Wa County Yamuranga. And I mean, the former women representative of Moranga County, Honorable Sabina Wanjiro Shege. Now, about seven years ago, there was a scuffle and a drama that ensued, which was a drama that involved Honorable Sabina Chege with her co-wife after she was accused of snatching somebody's husband. Now, the then beautiful Moranga women representative owned by Sabina Wanjiro Chege was being accused of husband snatching, an allegation that she rubbished and was also rubbished by the man's close family members. Now, the fair and comely lawmaker who emerged victorious for the second term in 2017 and went on to uh, leave the elective position in 2022. Uh, he said to have won the heart of Gadito Maina, the former Kenya dairy board boss. But Maina's wife, Wanjiko, who then feared that Sabina might take over all the family property, she married Chege, uh, Wanjiro, uh, Sabina, uh, I mean, she married Chege in all white wedding gown on September 7, 1996, at Our Lady Queen of Peace, Catholic church in South B, Nairobi. However, a family source clarified that Sabina recently married the former dairy boss in a traditional ceremony making her an official wife. Now, in what is seen as a step to, to, to stake a claim, Sabina paraded Maina as a hubby when both appeared to pick a certificate from the Moranga returning office after she won the women representative in the year 2017. Now, Sabina 
who chaired the National Assembly Education Committee in the in 2013 to 2017 parliament even told her supporters that Maina was a husband. The two had have a child together, but the family claims that Maina is spending more time with Sabina, a mother of three, a situation that worried them most. Now, apart from that, Sabina Chege was said also to be engaged to late Mogidi artist and Benga musician John Demedio who passed in the year 2018 in a road accident. And apart from John Demedio, Sabina Chege's eldest kids are also believed to be children from his first marriage with uh, a man that was a cabinet secretary in Uhuru, uh, in Mwai Kibaki's uh, government. Those my mother is the least of the five most influential women married to uh, uh, most influential women that have been married as second wives in the Republic of Kenya. Please, I had you.